Welcome to Infocom 2012. Today I'd like to show you our RPM software. Let's take a look at how it works. RPM is our cloud-based software configuration tool. This software allows you to access RPM uh, from basically any browser anywhere in the world. So through your simple username, login, uh, you'll be able to access your projects, share those projects within your company, and basically build and, and program your AMX control systems. So first thing I want to mention is that there is no training required. You don't have to come to AMX for a week worth of training. The training is built right into the web app along with help tips on each page to give you information on uh, context sensitive information on each set of the uh, project that you're building through. So I want to give you guys a quick demo and just walk through basically setting up a simple system in RPM. So I'm going to select a project. You'll notice here that I've got my project details I fill out. I have uh, all of the DBX. Uh, 3150, 2150, 2155, and 3155 units supported, as well as our standard master controllers, NI700, 900, uh, 2131, and 4100. If you're integrating RMS into RPM, it's as simple as a checkbox here on the RPM's uh, setup page. The next step is setting up our devices in the system. We'll simply add and remove devices based on the configuration that we're building out. In this case, for example, if I had a DVR, I would simply add that device in. Or if I had two DVRs, I could simply change that number up. Or simply remove the device, device as well. So it becomes a very simple and easy process to build your equipment for the RPM solution. Once we've done that, you're going to select your manufacturer and model numbers for each of your devices. And I can do that using the drop-down list here, selecting my manufacturer and my model numbers. And based on that manufacturer model number, we automatically know the control parameters, so there is no configuration required to set that up. If you have a motorized screen, lift, or relay control device, very simple to add that in also with a checkbox. And you'll set up all your devices exactly the same way. So for your source devices, like a Blu-ray player, it's very easy to add that device to the system by selecting your manufacturer model number and simply telling the application which type of cable you're using to connect that Blu-ray player to your device. Once we've done that, now we actually configure the functionality for this Blu-ray player. We will, by default, populate standard functionality like play, stop, pause, menu functions. We know that you've got a Blu-ray player in the system. You know you're going to need those functions. We also give you the ability to customize functions using the drop-down menus. So all of the available functions for this particular Blu-ray player are available directly on that drop-down that I can then customize for the user's experience. The rest of the devices are exactly built the same way, including video conferencing, lighting control, and all of the other source devices that we add into the system. The next step is setting up signal routing, and it again is done for you automatically in RPM, but if you're building your system off of a wiring schematic or a wiring diagram, it's very simple to use the drop-down menu and change the inputs and outputs of that switcher based on your specific system that you're building. The next step is the macros, and I think this is really where the power of RPM lies. The user does not want to have to fumble through a touch panel to find three or four different buttons to lower the screen, to turn on the projector, to dim the lights. And so with RPM, when we select, for example, the Blu-ray player, we will automatically build a macro that will not only turn on that TV, switch the switcher to the proper input, but we'll also switch the TV to the proper input and set that DVD player up ready to go so that it can play. As this goes through the process here, you can customize these macros. So as you go through and you look at the generated macros that we build, maybe you want to add a direct volume set. The previous user of the room might have muted the audio. You can actually jump into the macro and make the change on that direct volume set so that audio comes back at a fixed level each time someone chooses that macro. Or that you just didn't have to do that. All right, so there's our macro. I've got my macro generated here. Turn the TV on, make the switch on the switcher. Wait 10 seconds and trigger that Blu-ray player. We can customize that by also jumping in, and doing our direct volume set that we showed you there. So you can build the macro with any function from any device so that you can truly give that one-touch automation functionality for the customers and the users of the system. The next step is actually building our custom user interface. So RPM has several templates to choose from. As you choose those, uh, we do support all of the new Madero X touch panels. So we've got the 7-inch, 10-inch, 19, 20-inch panel supported. 
Uh, and we, of course, also support some of our standard touch panels like the MVP 9000i. From here, we can also add a custom logo to the, to the user interface. And coming very soon, you'll be able to upload your own custom template directly to the RPM project space that you can use in future projects. The next step is our summary page. And at this point in time, we've completed the entire process of building that project from beginning to end. Very quick, very simple, very easy to do. For more information, contact amx.com.